Morning, everybody. Uh, this morning, we're gonna discuss our toolkit, basically our sheep toolkit inside of our Kawasaki Mule Pro. Uh, this is what we use for most of our work around the farm. Um, and it helps to have everything you need when you need it, you don't have to run back where, you know, kind of our farms kind of spread out. So um, if you need something, if we got a ewe caught and she needs doctored or a lamb caught needs doctored or something along those lines, you can't run back to the house and get what you need. So we keep it all in the buggy here. Um, we keep uh, various uh, marking devices, marking crayons. These are nice. Uh, they're kind of like a, a tube of lipstick. They just kind of spin around and come up and down um, they're pretty handy um, as opposed to those ones where you have to rip the um, the wrapper off of them every time you you get down to that point those are kind of a pain we also have screw worm spray um, for any uh, infections or anything uh, especially if, if you've got some foot rot um, or some foot skull going on with some uh, maggots in it or whatever so we'll we'll use the, the screw worm spray for that we guys also have, because if, as all of you know, we pack dogs with us everywhere we go. We use our dogs for everything on the farm. We have some pad tough, um, just in case our dogs get into some rough, um, some rough ground, um, and we can spray their feet with that. Uh, some wound coat, uh, the blue spray, um, wound coat for any open wounds that the uh, guard dogs, collies, or sheep may sustain. Um, we have, of course, our handy uh, hoof trimmer because you you always know that uh, feet need their or the sheep need their feet trimmed. Um, we also have a stethoscope. Uh, really, the only reason we have a stethoscope is if we're suspecting uh, a you has some sort of respiratory problem. That gives you a better idea um, instead of just guessing. We just we just kind of throw these on and take a listen. Um, and they'll tell you real quick um, if she's having lung lung issues. Um, we also have this little handy uh, thumb counter um, for when we're you know when you start dealing with large numbers of sheep, um, it can be difficult to count them. We count them through gates, count them off trailers, that type of thing, and just to make sure we know where everybody is at all time. So having these, we have these in each of our buggies um, to be able to count, and especially when we're working we're working use we want to know how many we've worked through the system and that type of thing so that's pretty handy you don't have to keep a count in your head you just look at your thumb uh, counter uh, we have various uh, vet wraps you just never know when you're gonna have to doctor something wrap it up um, so we carry vet wrap um, we have some pink eye spray um, for uh, of course when we have pink eye issues we'll give an antibiotic but this also helps uh, a spray in the eyes um, with the sheep. Um, two types of wormer, um, as you can see here, we have uh, some white wormer valbazin. Of course, we don't give this to pregnant ewes. Um, and then we have, uh, then that's for some of your, your tapeworm um, and some of your other worm uh, types. And then we have our prohibit, which is more for our um, barber pole uh, issues and that can be given to use that are pregnant we have our little applicator on here the the valbazin we give generally with one of these little applicators one pole um, we use of course prohibit more than we use the valbazin we also have in here these little sulfur pills um, we found that these are really effective not only for infection um, we'll give them to the dogs if the dogs are limping or or along those lines um but we also give them to sheep uh, we also have a big bottle of them right here um we give them to sheep with a with a pill gun um which we also have two pill guns one for use one for lambs that one keeps falling apart so that's awesome we have a um a first aid kit for us because i mean as some of you know you know when you're wrestling sheep or you're wrestling dogs or just farming in general you'll tear yourself up from time to time so we have a first aid kit for us if we need it or anyone else who, who might be helping us um we have a lamp uh a couple flashlights i have another flashlight in here for when we're doing stuff at night checking uh first time lammers at night 
Um, moving on over here, we have um, Spectaguard, which is actually a, a, a solution for, for pigs, but it works really good for scours, especially in, in young uh, lambs. It's a really good scour medicine. Um, and you cannot generally know who you're giving it to because it, it will give them a red tint around their mouth. Um, but this is really good if you've got uh, scour issues like um, uh, E. coli or something running through your, your flock. Of course, you'd want to move them to cleaner ground if that were the case. But uh, Spectaguard, we carry various antibiotics. We have New Floor. Uh, and my wife does these um, little koozies so they don't get, these bottles don't get banged around. But it also has what it is, what the dosage amount is, and what it, what it may be used for. Um, that way, if, if someone's new is helping us on the farm, or sometimes we just need, you know, in the heat of heat of battle, I guess, with the sheep, you want to, sometimes you can forget some of this information. Um, so they got the new floor. We also carry a, a steroid, um, dexamethasone. Um, once again, dosage amounts, what it's used for. Um, thiamine, the thiamine's good. Vitamin B, um, is good for uh for rumen balance when uh you have ewes that are are struggling with energy ewes that are struggling with worm issues parasite issues we usually will will not only worm but we'll, we'll dose them with this a couple times a day um, to kind of help uh, stabilize that rumen a little bit better um of course the old go-to la200 um, we're using this less and less because uh, we like the um the draxon um, better. It's kind of a one-shot alternative. And now that there's a, um, a generic version out, it's a lot less. It used to be about, I guess, six dollars, five, six dollars a mil. And now that the generic's out, it's half that. Uh, oxytocin. Um, if we if we have you, I mean, our our lambing is pasture based, and so we let the girls kind of handle their own business out here as much as we can. But if we have a you that we feel hasn't past or after birth. Um, I know some people like to pull their after birth, but you risk breaking after birth off because it's such a fragile, uh, such fragile tissue. So we'll give, we carry the oxytocin just to help them pass after birth if that's necessary. Um, a little pair of forceps. Uh, banamine, uh, anti-inflammatory pain uh, reliever. It's really good if, uh, if you have something with a fever, especially respiratory type situations. To give the banamine with it um, to help reduce fever um, and then like i said before we've got our uh, drax and we use this uh this generic but uh it's one one mil per hundred pounds it's really effective stuff um helps with pretty much anything uh foot issues uh respiratory issues that type of thing um we uh in this little bag here we carry dog leashes twine that we you never know when you're gonna have to tie something up um we also have this little box in here that we use that handles all of our um we carry extra syringes extra needles in it um because if you break one out here you, you need to have replacements um every now and again we'll carry some uh what's normally in this bottle is uh a diluted um we, we sprayed on their feet. It's it's a uh, embalming fluid. Um, I forget the name of it right now. Honey, help me out. She's forgotten the name of it as well. Um, but we use that. We find that good for uh, for for foot issues. It kills pretty much anything. If any of you have ever gotten embalming fluid on your hands, you know um, it's it's painful at first, but then. Your wound's pretty much healed by the next day, so it's pretty fast working stuff. We carry an air pump for the buggy, uh, for the ambulance. Ambulance tires are always going flat, which we're still trying to figure out a solution for that. But we got a 12 volt operated uh, air pump to be able to, because you can't just say, well, I can't take a U home that's having trouble because the ambulance tires are flat. Uh, so you have to have a solution for that. And then around the back side here, of course, are various um our various feed buckets dog feed buckets we have a toolbox with fencing tools so on and so forth we have one of these handy kiwi crooks we get these from um from premier one they have a a 
uh, neck catch and they also have a leg cleek at the bottom that locks. Um, the other day we did the video on our on our uh, hobbling uh, for for sheep. We got the, the hobble there and then we always carry a rope. That way if I, I need to uh, practice missing catching sheep, um, we get the old rope out and I embarrass myself in front of people trying to catch sheep um, and miss because I'm out of practice. So that's basically a rundown of our our buggy setup. Um, for those of you that run sheep, you know um, you need to have a bunch of tools on hand uh, to be able to take care of your flock, especially a flock our size. And so uh, that's kind of that's kind of what we do.